The Motiti Marine Protected Area is devastating for us, for Ngāti Whakahe Moe Mutino, because it makes it illegal for us to be Māori. From the 11th of August, it will be illegal to anchor on or take any marine life from the three reefs making up the new Motiti Protection Area. It's a single rule um, and what it says is that the damage or destruction of any plants or animals is prohibited. So it's a really wide reaching rule. Um, ultimately it means you can't take any plants or animals from these three offshore reefs uh, and that includes fishing. The protection area was initially proposed as a result of overfishing after the RENA exclusion zone was lifted in 2016. But while most regional council decisions are taken to a public consultation, this one was different. The rules come about through a really unusual process. When we consulted on our coastal plan back in 2014, uh, the rule wasn't in there. Um, we had recognised those reefs as having cultural um, and biodiversity significance. Uh, but once it got into the court process, and that's where the rule started to be developed and written, um, that there was no opportunity for the consultation that people would normally um, be expected to see when there were new fishing rules or new marine protected rules um, coming into place. The new protection area for the three reefs was directly required by the Environment Court, a decision that was appealed in the High Court and Court of Appeal. So through an appeal process to our plan, um, it was asked that more stringent rules be put in place to protect the reefs. There were a number of appellants to the process. Some specific uh, requests for uh, a tightened rule framework came from the Motiti Rohi Moana Trust um, and that was supported by Forest and Bird. Many in the local fishing community weren't happy with the lack of consultation with social media comments like the worst process ever appearing often. We do recognise that um, they haven't been um, part of this process. Uh, we have been trying to work really closely with local fishing clubs uh, and recreational fishers, uh, particularly in this area, uh, just to work through what it means um, and work through what it means for them because we know that, that this is impacting on um, fishing areas uh, that are really important to them. Also affected are Nati Fakahemo, who are acknowledged owners and kaitiaki of one of the reefs on Motuno, or Plate Island. The Motiti Marine Protected Area is devastating for us, for Ngāti Whakahe Moe Motuno, um, because it makes it illegal for us to be Māori. It extinguishes the ability for us to practise our traditional customary practices and to pass on that knowledge to the next generations. Paul says the decision was news to her hapu, which were not part of the legal process. We weren't consulted, we knew nothing about it, so it was done to us, not with us. It criminalises us. At Motino, in particular, Plate Island, that's where we teach our babies, our mokopuna, to die for kinners. From commercial fishing operations to recreational divers and spear fishing, the rule applies to everyone equally. The rules in place to protect the reefs, um, it's very clear uh, that you can't take any marine life um, from the three protected areas that are in place and we have to implement that rule. So we're hoping education works, um, but we do have enforcement tools and we will need to use them. While the ruling comes from the Environment Court, Bay of Plenty Regional Council can review the Motiti Protection Area in the next few years as fresh data on the reef's biodiversity becomes available. Our rules have a 10 year span in our coastal plan and we're required to review them after 10 years and we could do that earlier uh, if there was new information available. Um, so I wouldn't say that it's in place forever. Um, what we can do over the next 10 years is gather more information and better information so we know what the best management is for them. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.